it said that the theme was by any means necessary. So as I was trying to prepare my message, the Lord gave me a subject of light the way. So the purpose of this message is by any means necessary, light the way. In today's society, our generation has become so preoccupied with fitting into the latest fashions, the latest trends. We have to have the newest Jordans, you know, the newest MP3 players, the hottest cell phones, you know, like the AT&T impression. You know, it's on sale in the mall, mom, just in case you caught that. We got to have the hottest name brands, you know, Rockaware, Nike, Baby Fat. We just want to be, we want to do all these things so that we can fit in with our peers. We want to do all these things so that we can feel accepted. A lot of our things we do is so we're not, we don't feel as outcasts, but we feel like we fit in and we're not different from everyone else. But we have to realize that those things are not what we are called to do. Fitting in is not what we were purposed to do. It says that we have to walk as children of light. And we have to realize that considering our schools and our college campuses, the athletic teams that we're on, the fields that we play on, the school hallways, we have to look at those as areas of darkness. And being Christian children, we have to be that light in the darkness. Now, we have to realize that in darkness, when the lights go out, the first thing you look to do is find light. So if we see these areas as darkness, and we are supposed to be the light, people should be drawn to us. I looked up the definition of light, and it was electromagnetic radiation that stimulates sight and makes things visible. And radiation emits rays of light. It's to transmit or demonstrate, to stimulate, to animate or excite. So we have to be at a level spiritually that our spirits begin to emit a light and demonstrate a true walk with Christ so that people begin to become excited about this man that we call Christ. When we walk into these areas, we should automatically stand out. We should automatically if, if I was to turn out the lights, all the lights right now, and just have this one spotlight on, the first thing that you would look at would be over here because that's where the light is. It wouldn't be back in the corner. It wouldn't be over there. You wouldn't look at the bishop or the pastors. You would look to where the light is. So being a light, we have to be spiritually at a point to be that light because you can't be living any type of lifestyle and expect your spirit to glow. It's something that comes from the inside. It's nothing you can wear. It's nothing that you can put on. You can have on the longest skirt, the nicest suit, the biggest hat, and that's not going to make your light glow any more than someone else. It's about being in that word and establishing a prayer light that is going to cause your light to glow. So consider this world that we're in as darkness. We have to light the way for those who are not saved. We have to light the way for those who don't know Christ. So being that I'm a light in this darkness, people should be drawn to me and I should be able to explain to them enough of who God is and who Christ is that eventually they'll be able to have a light of their own.